Bucky there. It's actually a little more red than it's showing on the camera, but pretty close. Yeah, white hood. In the moon. The fog lifted it sometime around 2 o'clock this morning. All of a sudden it was clear as a bell. Makes for a pretty sunrise. It'll get better here in a little bit. Well, I might have missed the best part. I don't know. But there it is. Oh, yeah, like I said, it was 28 earlier. Nah, it's 26 or 27. But the app on my phone said we were supposed to be to a low of 29. And they've been more accurate than the weather guessers on TV, so. Anyway, at least that's close enough, right? They don't understand that fine line between 31 and 33. But either way, everything's froze and it's clear as a bell in the moon. And yep, yep, they're calling my name. They don't speak very good English though, just Cowanese. I think they were a little slow coming this morning. Usually. I got one or two buckets in, not all four in, before they come running. But hey, they made it. There's an empty hole or two down there, so there's still room. That should be all of them. Just thought I'd show you. They can get up and kick their heels and run. And she thinks there's a better spot somewhere. She's probably right, too, because that end section only gets about half. I don't walk out there and pour it. They don't need the whole thing anyway. Well, this isn't that auger or the motor. I used a little DeWalt vibrating saw and end up cutting the pulley off of that motor. I got that done this morning. And it seems number one ain't going to be here today. She was supposed to uh, clean feed barn and clean the two-year-old's lot since it's way too freaking deep. And while this little bucket's still on here and I'm sitting here in the loader, I'm gonna put some of this up there because last night I fought three bales up there. I ain't doing that again. My back ain't up for that. Bad enough trying to do it with this, so. I'm gonna fire this thing up and weasel it around and put a few of those up. And been texting back and forth with Maury. He's gonna get some bales where you can get to them so we can go get some some point this week and it is a nice day still freezing out but the sun's shining and it's not all damp yet so it doesn't feel too bad so I don't got no insulated on or nothing just my muck boots stuff up over here and get the loader hosed off before lunch. Oh, I'm good with that. Kind of surprised it went that quick. But weaseling between feeders is time consuming. Same time though, you don't have all the time unhooking them and moving them. 
And I can really only shove out this hole and that one there. And that's, you know, only if I got room. Everything went in here. Kind of surprised. I mean, I can't get everything. I can't get in here because there's only five feet between there and I got a six foot wide machine. And I can't get in against the other wall down there to get behind that far feeder. Because once again, it's a six foot wide machine. But I had the narrow bucket on, which kind of helps. I can sneak in the length of the bucket. I can actually get in quite a ways. And yeah, I know, the little gates are sagged. As long as they still go in. And like this hole, I can push a little out. I just gotta watch out for the cable. But I can't push much out there with the feeders in here because get much more there and the gate's gotta swing in. Oh yeah, here. You like the looks of that gate. You like that? Isn't that nice? That happened, I don't know, 30 years ago. We used to push it all out with uh, 135 with the blade on it. And I went to stop and it didn't stop. And I slid into that. I've done it a couple times with this kid steer too. It happens. I mean, would it be nice to get in and clean this? Yes. I couldn't get over far enough to pick that up, so I didn't. But this isn't all slop. And the way it works in here, from about here to there, and up in between the feeders at both points, that'll get up above the freaking gate. It's been up to here before. And it's just pure slop. There's no binder in it. So, but that's all out of here. And that's not something we want somebody to have a calf in. And look at the beautiful day. Most of the frost is even gone, too. Anyway, onward and upward. They got their hay. Two of those bales were a little heavier than normal. Like probably 100 pounds, actually. It happens. Oh, yeah. Somebody asked what they look at. The rats are between the bales and the back of the feeder. We dug this all clear out of here last year. Found all the holes, baited them all, never found a freaking live rat. Filled the holes in. Yeah, but they're still here. So, I'll make my round through here to see what's going on. And go let those ladies in. Looks like Eminem, Minnie Moo, Eminem's daughter, Eminem's gone. Um, right there with the pole. She's a little flush looking. She's been doing a lot of tail moving. I see him do it for a while though. And there's these two just chilling out in here. So I got done feeding or thin and feed barn and Becky was working up there by the garage. Clean her mom's flower bed up. Suckered me into taking the skid steer and hauling. Got hold five bucket loads. I showed you one of them anyway. That wasn't a full one. Uh, she got a nice pile down there. I packed it real tight so it should, if she gets it burning, it should take off pretty good. But I figured here's the end of the day. And uh, I actually caught part of the news a little bit ago. Hey, guess what? Our, our weatherman in Portland says it's going to be 30 in the morning. Huh. 
makes me kind of second guess myself because they've been saying 34. If he's saying 30, I might need to shut some water off tonight, but I don't know. Eh, if it's frozen in the morning, it's supposed to warm up. But they said not as warm as it's been the last couple days, so we will see what we get and go from there. So, yeah, at least I got the manure done. Hopefully, number one comes tomorrow. She can spread straw tomorrow instead of having a cushy job of sitting on the skid steer. There's still ice here. How do you know? And yeah, hit the switch, make these. Oh, it shows really bright on the camera. That is barely lit. As these stupid little spiral fluorescents burn out, they're all getting replaced. And that kind of bothers me. That one we already replaced, and it was an LED when we replaced it, and it's an LED again, and isn't that old? Hmm. Oh well, they say nothing lasts forever, right? Oh yeah, I didn't do the best job since I didn't move everything out. That means I still gotta walk through this. <laughs> Not like I don't have to walk through it when I get out the door, right? And Blue's got a toy, so maybe he'll leave them alone, huh? He's gonna sit there and try to bark through his toy. Sure, these ladies would like some fresh bedding tomorrow. They need to lick each other's faces. They've all been into those tubs. Oh, yeah, a friend of mine down the valley called me today. He's trying to find hay. So we discussed where there isn't any hay. If you can find anything. Just grass hay is like 300 bucks a ton. And uh, it's not necessarily the best. He's got a neighbor that's got some grass seed straw in big bales for 40 bucks a bale. Well, 40 bucks a bale, that's about what it's been for a long time. But what he's selling for 40 bucks a bale is. It was on the edge of the stack that's got discolored and they can't take it to the press. So, something to think about. Not that I want to go straight grass seed straw. I'd rather find something better if we can find it. But as of yet, there's, I mean, the closest stuff I've been able to find advertised that isn't little 50 pound bales that are too soft to handle is like. 80 miles away at least. And there's a whole bunch of them way down in the valley. Price isn't too bad down there either, but I mean, you're, it's far enough. You're talking one load a day if you're lucky. That's if you get out of here early enough in the morning. So, anyway, that's the day, and it's prettier to the east than it is to the west. Thanks for watching, everybody.